Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and gather my supplies. Um, I have two vials here. One is of my regular insulin and one is my NPH insulin, along with my syringe with a needle attached. This syringe is an insulin syringe. It is marked in units and my needle is attached to it. Okay, so I need to go ahead and make sure um, everything matches up with the MAR. So I do have my regular insulin. We will need six units of this and my NPH. We will need 22 units of this. I'm going to go ahead and roll my NPH. Okay, and before I get started, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, and I need to clean them with an alcohol swab. Okay. I'm going to safely uncap my... Okay, and I need to place this somewhere where it will not get contaminated. Okay, so first I will need to do my NPH, which is 22 units. So I'm going to put in 22 units of air. Okay, and then I was very careful not to touch the medication with my needle. And then now I need regular insulin, six units. Okay. So I will put in six units of air to invert the bottle. very careful to take back the correct amount, which is six units. Okay, I'm going to check for air bubbles. And I would need to check this with a registered nurse. Okay, and now I will need to get my NPH. Um, this is 22 units, so this will end up coming down to 28. Make sure there's no air bubbles. And then I would also need to check this with a um, registered nurse. Okay, and now I need to safely recap. Okay, and I would again make sure that this was correct with my MAR and take it to the patient's room.